Christmas, Phoenix. morning church let me invite you to stand as we begin our worship service this morning and let me call you to worship by reading from the book of Colossians Colossians chapter 1 I'd like to read beginning from verse 15 to 18 Colossians chapter 1 We'll read beginning from verse 15 to 18. The Bible says that he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn from all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things, and in all things consists. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have preeminence. This is Jesus Christ, O Lord, for the Bible says he is as God, as God the Father is, that he is the source of all things, he is the sustainer of all things, he is the reason for all things, that he is the head of the church, which is his body, which is you and I, that in all things he may be preeminent. And so we have gathered this morning to worship this Jesus, that we are all here because he, had, he has enabled us to be in this place. And so therefore, I pray that may our eyes and our hearts be surrendered to him with an expectation that he is going to touch our hearts and our minds as we gather to, to worship him. Let us pray together. Our gracious Father, we thank you that you have given us life this morning. And Father, that you have sustained this life and allowed us to gather together this morning in your presence. Lord, we have come with an expectation. And the expectation, Lord, is that we are going to have an encounter with you. That this hour would not just be any other hour that we come to church. But, Father, that will seek to see you, will seek to meet with you. Father, we surrender to God, the Holy Spirit. We pray, Heavenly Father, that as we worship you, 
May you fill our hearts with joy. The joy that overshadows every single thing that was a burden in our hearts this whole week. Father, as we worship you, I pray that may you open the eyes of our hearts that we see you in a way that we have never seen you before. Father, as we worship you, I pray that may our hearts receive your word. And that God, the Holy Spirit, will allow us to see that which is hidden in your word as it has been spoken to our ears. Father, as we worship you, I pray that every person that has come into this place with a broken heart, Lord, may you heal that heart in the name of Jesus. Father, as we worship you, I pray that may those who have come in this place with doubts, Father, may they go out with assurance from you, O oh God. Father, as we worship you, I pray that may the, if there is anyone who has come in this place terrified and afraid, Father, I pray that as we worship you, may you encourage them. That they will remember that you are the one who said you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, as we worship you, I pray that if there's anyone in here who does not know you as a Lord and a personal Savior, that as we cry out to you, Lord, may you open the eyes of their hearts that they will see who they can be only if they surrender to you. Father, as we worship you, fill our hearts with your presence. Liberate our heavenly Father that will worship you without reservation. The Father would not be ashamed to sing, to dance, to pray, because the only audience that we have is you. And so, Father, fill our hearts with joy. In the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's join our worship team as they lead us in songs of praise and worship. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. None else can heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one. No, not Jesus. No, Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No friend like him is so high and holy. No, not one. No, not one. And yet no friend is so meek and lowly. No, not one. No, no, Jesus knows. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not and Jesus knows. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide to the there's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. There's not a now that he is not near us. No, not one. No, not one. No, night so dark that his love can cheer us. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows, Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the Lord. No, not one. No, not one. No, no. And Jesus knows, Jesus knows all about our struggles. 
Jesus knows. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, 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 not one. No, not one. No, no, and no, not one. sing of your love I want to sing of your mercy I want to tell the whole world of the greatness of you so I sing of your love And I'll sing of your mercy And I'll tell the whole world Of the greatness of you Jesus, we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name. We lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Oh, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your Sing of your love. I want to sing of your love. I want to sing of your mercy. I want to tell the whole world. On the greatness of you. On the greatness of you. So I'll sing of your love. So I'll sing of your love. of your mercy and I tell the whole world of oh, the greatness of you To lift you up, give you praise and lift you up, and everything we lift you up. Oh Lord, oh Lord we come to lift you up, give you praise and lift you up, and everything we lift you up. Lord, we come. Lord, we come to lift you up, give you praise and lift you up. Everything we lift you up, Lord, we've come. Lord, we come to lift you up. 
give you praise and lift you up and everything we lift you up for your name is higher than the heavens greater than the nations Jesus. Lord, we've come. Lord, we've come to lift you up. Give you praise and lift you up. And everything we lift you up. Your name, your name is higher than the heavens, greater than the nations. Jesus. Lift up, your name. Lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name. Lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name, Jesus. We lift up your name. Oh, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. We lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. We lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Oh, 
was nobody and now that power lives in me there is another in the fire oh 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 i can see and i can see the light in the darkness as the darkness bows to him i can hear the roar in the heavens as the space between the west thing i can feel the ground shake beneath us as the breeze on walls cave in nothing stands between us nothing stands between us nothing 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 can come between us there is no other name by the name that is jesus he who was and still is and who be through it all So come on me in the space between all the things and sin and this reckoning I know I'll never be alone I know come on you sing I know I'll never be alone There'll be another in the fire Standing next to me to be another in the waters holding back the seas and should I ever need reminding how good you been to me I can't enjoy come every battle cuz I know that's where you be I can see the love I in the darkness as the darkness bows to him i can hear the roar in the heavens as the space between west thing i can feel the ground shake beneath us as the breeze on walls cave in nothing stands between us nothing stands between us Even if he does it, I will praise him. Even if he does it, I'll stand tall. Even if he does it, I will praise him. Even if he does it. be another in the fire standing next to me to be another in the waters holding back the seas and should i ever need reminding how good you've been to me i can't the joy come every battle cuz i know that's where you'll be Can't the joy come me free but cuz i know that's where you'll be i can't the joy come me free but cuz i know that's where you'll be our gracious father we thank you we thank you heavenly father that when we are in the fire we are not consumed because there is someone standing next to us father when the storms rage against us father we are not swept away because there is somebody holding back the waters father that we can count all the battles joy because you fight on our behalf 
And Father, we become victorious because we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. And so, Father, the only way to respond is that we will not bow down to the things of the world. That we will bow down to the only true and living God. That we will worship Jesus and Jesus alone. Because He alone, worthy of our praise, worthy of our worship. Father, that we are not bound in chains of sin anymore because He became sin so that we can become the righteousness of God. Father, we are the children of the Most High God because He became sin, died on the cross for our sins. And so, Father, we say thank you for the love, unconditional love. We bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. And I want us to all put our hands together for this Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to help me welcome somebody by shaking their hands. Because there was a time not long ago, we were not allowed to touch anybody's hand. We pray that th that time will not come back. Amen. Welcome to the house of the Lord once again. I also like to take this opportunity to welcome those that might be with us this morning for the very first time. So if you're visiting with us today, this is your first time, I'll, ask, I'll invite you to stand uh, so that we can properly show you some love. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Please re re remain standing. We're not done yet. <laughs> All right. So on behalf of our senior pastor and uh, associate pastors and the entire leadership, and on behalf of the entire congregation, we would like to say thank you for visiting with us. We are so grateful that you are here with us. It's not by accident. God sent you here so that you can fellowship with us. Now, when the service is finished, we would like to get to know you more. So when you walk out of this building, you turn to your left, the second door on your left. Uh, we want you to go in there. You meet some of our leaders, and they will be able to answer any questions that you have. So once again, we are blessed because you're here, and we hope you'll be blessed. You may be seated. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we'll continue worshiping the Lord through giving. Are we excited to give to the Lord this morning? So I'm going to pray as we prepare our hearts to give. Let's pray together. Gracious Father, we thank you that you're gracious enough to allow us to possess that which you created. Father, when we give, we acknowledge that we are only stewards of what you have given to us. So when we give, we're actually giving from your hand. And we're giving what rightfully belongs to you. So Lord, I pray that you will bless everything that we'll give this morning, and that, Lord, you use it to the glory of your name, but also to the advancement of your kingdom as you assigned us as Capital City Baptist Church. In Christ Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. So the baskets would be on your left. Please just pick one and pass to the next person. As the baskets are flowing, there will be some announcements that will be flying on the overhead projector. Please pay attention. And there will be some notices that I will highlight from here. So the first notice that I want to bring to your attention is regarding the Sunday evening services. The church has held Sunday evening services for quite some time, but the leadership felt that we needed to shift that from Sunday evening to midweek. So therefore, beginning February, 
uh, on Thursday. That's where we'll be holding these uh, uh, services. So the first Thursday in February would be the first February. So the evening services will shift from Sunday to Thursday from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Now, that does not mean that we have canceled the intercessory prayer. The services will be including the intercessory prayer. So when you come, expect to worship the Lord through singing, but also to go into the intercessory prayer, and we'll be finishing with the preaching and teaching of the Word. So please uh, share the Word. Be reminded that Sunday service is beginning February. And they will shift to midweek uh, Thursday evening from 6 to 7.30. Uh, the church is looking for three housekeepers to help with their care for the Legacy Center. The minimum qualification is uh, MSCE. So if you're in those that are interested, in interested, if you know anybody that's interested, please let them know that they can visit the church office for more details. Uh, the new members class begins on Sunday, the 21st. Um, this is for those who like to make CCBC their home church. Please register your name through the church office. On Sunday, the 21st, we'll begin this class, and it will start at 8 in the morning. Sunday, 21st at 8 in the morning. Uh, first and Fasting and prayer week. We'll hold the fast and prayer week from January the 22nd, which is a Monday, to January the 25th, which is a Thursday. So please take note of those dates. Uh, more details will come uh, in the course of the week. The women's ministry, there will be elections. They are electing their leaders to take uh, the role from 2024 to 2027. So more details will be shared on the church WhatsApp group. So please follow along as those messages are coming. But also from women's ministry, there will be a celebrating friendship breakfast. This breakfast will take place on the 3rd of February from 8 a.m. So all women are invited. But this is a contributory breakfast. So women are encouraged to, to uh, contribute towards this breakfast. Remember, it's on, I'm assuming that's a Saturday, right? Uh, 3rd February 2024 20, from 8 a.m. Another notice from Children's Ministry, uh, they are looking for volunteers to help. So these are teachers, helpers, and greeters to serve once a month, twice a month, or three times a month. So those are the a way that uh, children ministry is looking up for. So the ages are from two to nine years old. If you feel called and you are uh, want to serve in children's ministry, please register your name uh, to the church office or there's a desk outside that you can sign up for. The youth ministry, uh, are one million strong, which is a ministry for under the youth ministry. They're also looking for volunteers. Uh, these are those to facilitate and serve in this coming year's programs in various communities in the city. So this is for those that are young at heart, that are willing to pour their hearts into young people. There is an opportunity to serve, and so you're encouraged to register your name in the church office. Let me invite Stella. Stella has an uh, announcement to make. Good morning, church. Um, who believes we have an amazing church? Please raise your hand. Eh? Um, all right, some of you are not sure. Um, <laughs> but one of the great things about this church is that it provides opportunities for us to serve so that you don't come to church from January to December and essentially just sit and then go back. Um, and one of the opportunities to serve is in a Christian heritage school. Uh, that is our church school that was established to reach out to vulnerable children through education so that we can change their life trajectories. And we do this by connecting all our children on scholarship to families within this church through a ministry called Dream Makers because you make the children's educational dreams come true. So if you're a dream maker in the house, would you please stand up? If you're sponsoring a child, 
at Christian Heritage School. Would you please stand up where you are so that the others will know I'm not making this up. So just please help me stand up. Um, yeah, don't be ashamed. So as you can see there, let's give them a round of applause. Uh, you can take your seats. Thank you for your faithfulness. So every year we recruit new, new dream makers. And last year we were not able to do it at that time because of the 40th anniversary celebration. So we are doing it this, this month. And all these children are going to be dedicated on the 28th of, uh, of uh, January. That's the last Sunday in, the, in, the, in this month. And so all our old dream makers, make sure you're there that day. So you can also connect with your child. And we didn't do Christmas presents this year, so do your Christmas presents then. And also pass by the table and let us know you're continuing so that in case you're not able to, we can put the child back. But also I'm sending uh, out an appeal uh, to those of you who maybe are not involved in any church ministry. You, this could be yours. So we have a few children left on our board. I think they're less than um, 10. And in, in this congregation of over 200, I'm sure I can find some 10 dream makers. So after the service, please pass by my table and you get more details of how you can come alongside um, a child. And then you get to meet this child on the 28th of, uh, of January. And yes, let's invest in our children's future so that we can change their life trajectories and contribute towards changing the direction. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Now we're going to go ahead in our worship. Uh, we're going to go into our prayer time. So let me invite you to stand once again. We'll join our worship team as they lead us into a song. And let me invite the elders and pastors that are available to come in front. This time, we use it as an opportunity to pray as individuals, but also to pray with one of the leaders. So if you have a prayer need, please uh, come forward. The elders and their spouses and the pastors will hold your hand and pray together. Like we said, we've come to have an encounter with the Lord. We've come to experience him. So we don't want you to go back home with something in your heart that you could have laid it at the feet of Jesus Christ. So don't be afraid. Don't be shy. This is the house of our God. Amen. And let me ask the worship team to play with a little bit of low voice sound so that then we can hear each other as people come here to pray. Amen.
This is my desire. This is my desire to honor you. Lord, with all my Precious Father, we thank you for what you have done, what you are doing, and what you will continue to do. Lord, when we come to you to pray, we acknowledge that we do not know any other God but you. We acknowledge that there is no one who can do what we have asked you to do other than you. And so, Father, we are saying, have your way in our situations because you are the source and the sustainer of all things. You are from everlasting to everlasting. Father, you see all things. You know all things. You are in control of all things. And so, Father, we pray that just as you have been faithful, Father, continue to be faithful. We pray, Father, that for those who are still waiting, Father, they wait with hope, knowing that you are the God who is never late. Your timing is perfect. And so, Father, as we wait, we wait with hope and expectation that our God will do what he says he will do. Father, those that have come to just thank you, Father, I pray that may you receive their heart of thanks. Because we acknowledge, Heavenly Father, that what we have has actually come from you. Even if we had worked hard for it, even the ability to work hard has come from you. And so therefore, Lord, we say thank you for what you have done. We bless your holy name, Lord. Father, we thank you for your word. 
Now is the time that we sit under the authority of your word. I thank you, Father, that you have gifted our pastor to articulate that which you have given to him. Lord, prepare our hearts and our minds that as we are listening to his voice, let it be your words. We submit to God the Holy Spirit that each one of us will listen and will say, what is the Lord saying to me? Not to the person who is not here. You have brought us here, Lord, so you can speak to our hearts. We pray that we'll receive this bread of life that has come from you through all your servant. In the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. So you remember that sometime last year we dwelt on the book of uh, First Peter for some time. And so after finishing that, we went to l handle different topics. And now we are coming to the book of Second Peter. Uh, and so we will be uh, through it until we come to the conclusion. Uh, so just a brief background to these books. Uh, uh, so the experts and uh, students of the Bible would look at First Peter and Second Peter. They said it doesn't look like it was written by the same person uh, because the First Peter is written in very nice Greek language, polished Greek language, and they're wondering if that uh, uh, fisherman could have written that kind of good language. And so they are doubting that. But now when they look at the second Peter, uh, the Greek there, uh, the grammar, rock and grammar says, this one sounds like it was the Galilean fisherman. So is, is it the same one who wrote the first Peter and the second Peter? Uh, yes, it is the same one. And the answer to that is that he himself, Peter, said that he had written the first one. He said that uh, with the help of Silas. So Silas helped him. Perhaps he gave them, he was speaking and Silas was writing and correcting the grammar. And so that's why it is what it is. So when we look at this first Peter and sixth Peter written by the same guy, the Galilean fisherman whom Jesus called from uh, a fisherman says, now I will make you a fisher of Maine. The same whom Jesus said, Peter, do you love me uh, more than these? Uh, feed my sheep or take care of my sheep. So that St. Peter now is an apostle to the whole church and taking that responsibility that Jesus Christ had given him uh, to take care of the ship. Uh, now, in the first letter, first Peter, he was warning the church to get ready to be able to suffer without giving up on their faith. They will suffer, and he said that it is good for you to suffer for being a Christian than for you to suffer for committing a crime. So he was warning the church that there will come a time when they were going to suffer and they shouldn't give up on their faith. So that is the purpose of the, second, the first letter. Suffering will come from outside. The second letter. Now Peter is about to go. He said that his time is up. He knows that he's about to depart and be with the Lord. And now Peter's concern is that when these apostles have gone, there will be enemies in the church from within that will begin to teach false doctrines. And there will be people in the church who will be living lives as if they are not Christians. And then they will have a lot of influence on the church. You know that there are some people, the Bible is not the standard of their lives, but they are so influential. Whatever they say, people follow it. They will arise up, evil men, women will arise up from within the church and they will influence you to 